there are very few perfect machines. One of them is the Orlock. It is a gentle instrument that unites man and water. It is dignified and economic, and this pleases Fritz Schumacher. an economist, an organizer, a technologist. Uh, the real problem of our society is not the technical, the economic. It's, I, I believe, philosophical. It's an enormous confusion about our deepest convictions. On the one hand, we are told uh, just a cosmic accident that the human race exists. On the other hand, we are given religious instruction and, uh, and so on and have all these churches and uh, great traditions, wonderful art. And so we're living in total confusion. Until he was about 45 years of age, Fritz Schumacher, like all good economists, was dedicated to growth. To stand still was to stagnate. To become smaller was to die. He was enormously successful, a prime mover in Europe's post-war economic miracle. Then he decided that the world was making a monstrous mistake. Big, he said, could indeed be bad. Small, he said, is beautiful. With these words, he became one of the few original thinkers of the 20th century. It was decided in some official circles that Schumacher had suddenly become a harmless old fool, of great appeal, no doubt, to people who liked to hook their own rugs. Then somebody remembered that Schumacher had predicted the world energy crisis 18 years before it happened. And now he gets letters inviting him to the White House. It is often assumed that Schumacher has come to despise all forms of machinery. Not so, says Schumacher. Some machinery is beautiful.